Hi everyone, my name is Jason Matthew. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Cisco Integrated Management Controller Interface on 5520 uh, WLC. So uh, this is one of the interface you can use it uh, for uh, managing your hardware, uh, basically the uh, UCS uh, box. So um, this one can be used to monitor your system and you can restart your uh, system using that and reboot it and you can see the entire hardware details and everything in that. So this is the home page of uh, Cisco Integrated Management Controller and uh, you have uh, a number of options here. So if you click on this uh, button, uh, navigation button, you can uh, see a uh, summary page. This is the, uh, let me print this one, summary page uh, for uh, Cisco Integrated Management Controller. Then uh, next one is inventory. So inventory you can see the hardware details. So uh, this is the CPU information. Then in this uh, tab, a uh, memory tab, you can see the memory information. Then uh, PCA card information. Then power supplies. Um, then VAC adapter, if you have any. Um, then network adapters installed on the system. Then storage information. SAS expander, then TPM. So these are the basic uh, uh, information about the inventory. Then sensors, um, you can see the sensors. Oh, is there anything uh, wrong in that sensor part? So you can keep an eye on this uh, to, so that you can find if uh, something is going wrong. Temperature and everything you can see here. So basically all the sensor related information. And how many are working and what are the what is the status led status then storage information and all those things then power management this can be um, you you have to uh, run this power characterization once you run that you will get that information here right now i'm not going to run it because if you run it it will uh, reboot the system then power monitoring you can uh, monitor your current uh, power section in this one you have multiple options last hour and all so these options you can be customized and you can go through that then uh, if you have any faults or logs in your system um, it can uh, show you the history what are the issues happen and all those things um, then logs event logs system event logs then Cisco IMC logs and logging controls so uh, this is uh, the information coming from chases then you have a compute section in this you have another options to um, configure bios boot order config bios profile and all then remote management you can configure something through remote management side then troubleshooting you can uh, do some kind of troubleshooting it's not uh, uh, it's not something uh, we will use day-to-day uh, -day activities so I'll just skip all those things um, even I, I didn't I didn't use this one in the production scenario or in our lab because it's not required for someone to just use it every day um, networking you have an adapter information here so it will show you uh, the current state so port 1 and 0, 0 and 1 is links are down. These are the 10G couplings for your uh, controller that those are down. Then we an IC card information will be here, given here. So this processing is taking time. Yeah, so you have two adapters, ETS 0 and uh, 1. Then um, VHP, SPS. So these are the uh, networking related information for this uh, integrated management controller GUI. Then uh, next one, it will give uh, storage information. I'm not going in detail. I'll just show you what are the information available here. So uh, these are the information available. Uh, you can go through that based on your requirement. Then I'm not going into uh, flash. So next. Uh, important tab here is uh, is the admin section so user management you can select which user uh, can be uh, used for this integ uh, integrated management controller so right now i have a username called admin then uh, ldap uh, can be enabled here 
uh, it can be used so uh, you can uh, you can set your uh, session management and user management basically through this then uh, networking you have a uh, uh, network information here so right now I'm uh, connected through uh, 10 network uh, sorry uh, 10.105.2 that IP address range then um, then th these are the network uh, configuration uh, right now I don't have any network security configured on that then NTP settings I don't have any network time uh, protocol servers here then communication services we have uh, HTTP and all those things so you can select whatever you want to use it through that IP then SNMP if you want to enable SNMP trapping and all you can enable that then mail alert is also possible through this but you have to configure the SMTP uh, SMTP server in background and add that here security management again uh, certificate related stuffs can be found here security key management uh, that can be seen here and you can manage that whenever it's uh, required so you can download the root CA certificate and all those things then this is the event management section so you can uh, see the platform event filters here and you can manage that filters uh, through this particular tab then firmware management you can use this one for uh, uh, manage your uh, firmwares running on the code uh, running on the hardware that can be used utilities um, uh, utilities uh, so we have lot of utilities available here but uh, it depends on your requirement you can uh, do a reset all those things uh, using this so right now I am in um, integrated uh, management port and I don't have anything on my console here let me uh, reboot this so that I can go back to uh, to login to the other one okay thank you for watching uh, next time you can use this uh, IMC port to manage your hardware in case of an emergency Thank you for watching.